Welcome back. We have seen the two four device examples like uh, filters and isolators and so on. Now we will go for characteristics. So characteristics in the uh, in the sense, it will tell us uh, how the quality of the device. It's something like a uh, quantities uh, to measure from the uh, microwave network. It's not only this is uh, applicable for two port, it will be applicable for uh, three or four or n number of ports. We have certain quantities to measure from the two port. So this will be useful to uh, compare uh, one device to other device. For example, if I uh, take that uh, alternator, uh, if alternation factor uh, is one of the quantity. So if I want to compare one alternator to other alternator, I will go for a uh, better alternations. So I will compare the quantity which is having higher alternation I will go for that. So for that reason it is uh, useful uh, in the practical sense uh, to compare different network devices. Now we see a uh, two port network. The port 1 and 2 that we have seen that incident voltage is V1 plus and uh, reflected from the first port is V1 minus and uh, incident from the second port is a V2 plus and reflected is a V2 minus. So this is a general two port network. So why we are using, you know, taking a two port is to understand this can be scaled up to a number of ports. So when we write uh, two port network equations, uh, we can write uh, like if it is a two cross two matrix, I can write two uh, algebraic equations uh, that what were, whatever we have seen that. So why we need to write the equation is to identify the different quantities and characteristics in the two port network. So in general, two port network scattering parameters can be written as linear algebraic equations like a V1 minus and V2 minus is the left side that is a reflected voltage that is equals to scattering matrix or S matrix of uh, incident into incident voltage V1 plus and V2 plus. So in a shorter form you can write S equals to you can write S equals to V1 minus divided by V1 plus. Okay. So it is nothing but reflected voltage divided by incident voltage. This S is nothing but in this matrix multiply with the incident, I will get a reflected voltage. So here In the reflected voltage at port 1, I can write that is the first equations from the matrix that you can see it here. So if you see this matrix, you can write the matrix first equation Vn minus which is equals to S11 times of V1 plus plus S12 times of V2 plus. This is the first equation. So if I write like that. So the Vn minus as it is I have written. So here the Vn minus is nothing but reflected voltage at port 1. So these reflected voltage divided by incident voltage at port 1 I can write as a S11. Okay. So in these equations I can write S11 as V1 minus divided by V1 plus. Provided that I always mention this is a, a something has to be satisfied. So if S11 has to be equals to V1 minus divided by V1 plus then V2 plus has to be 0. So nothing but there should not be any reflection or uh, there should not be any incident on the second port. So incident voltage will come if there is a mismatch in the second port. So we have to make sure that second port is matched. That time I will measure what is a incident voltage at port 1 and what is a reflected voltage at port 1. I will divide this and I will get S11 that is nothing but reflection coefficient shortly that uh, we have seen that already. So S11 can be related to the reflection coefficients. If you take a 20 log of this value S11 I will get a return loss. So these are this is a one of the important quantities in the uh, networks not only is a two port uh, any n number of ports if you take at a two ports at a time for a measurement if you take a S11 or gamma 1 take a 20 log of that mod magnitude because S11 can be a complex number. Um, so we have to take only the magnitude and take a minus 20 log 
so you will get a return loss in db similarly i have to find the return loss at port 2 so the same principle i will expand the second equations and uh, write down s22 equals to v1 v2 minus divided by v2 plus provided that v1 plus equals to 0 so that time i will find out s22 that is nothing but gamma 2 that is a reflection coefficient at port 2 so take a 20 log of mod gamma magnitude of gamma or minus 20 log of magnitude of s22 take that is a return loss in the port so return loss is one of the quantity to check that how the ports are good like if how much reflection if there is any reflection how less it is so we will prefer always return loss should be less okay so in the quantity wise we will see in the problem basically we will compare this return loss between the device so which is a good we will pick that uh, that device so to use it in our circuit design this is one of the parameter one of the characteristics so another one is the reinsertion loss so insertion loss also can be calculated from the equations so similarly we can uh, for example i have taken the second equations so instead of taking s22 so i think you know that uh, the second equation i will rewrite the second equation says that it is s reflected voltage at the second point that is v2 minus which is equals to s21 this is the second equation from the matrix s21 and v1 plus plus s22 into v2 plus so this is from the second equations that is the left side is a reflected voltage right side is the s matrix times of incident voltage so if you expand the second equation you will get this from this i have to find out what is s21 so s21 is nothing but v2 minus divided by v1 plus we will bring this here v1 plus in this side so v2 minus divided by v1 plus that is my s21 provided that v2 plus has to be zero there should not be any incident voltage from on the second port the second port has to be masked if the second port is masked if i take the reflected voltage in the second port divided by incident voltage in the first port i will get the s21 okay so v2 minus divided by v1 plus is nothing but s21 so this is called because it, this is between the ports one and two ports so it is called transmission coefficients so if the voltage is measured at the same port it is called reflection if the values are measured between the port it is called transmission coefficients okay we will see later what is the relation between a reflection and transmission so especially it is a uh, one uh, two sided in the same coin so it can be if i know gamma i can find out t if i know the t i can find out the gamma so anyway this is a transmission coefficient between the two port device so if i take that uh, transmission coefficients if i take a minus 20 log of transmission coefficients so i will get so minus 20 log of transmission coefficients i will get the insertion loss so here it is given like a power calculation so always insertion loss as a logically what how what is the mean uh, if i give some certain power to the port one so how much power is uh, sent to the second port opposite port so if there is any loss so that loss is measured by using an insertion loss so here 10 log of i am giving a power at port 1 and measuring at port 2 so 10 log of p1 by p2 so p1 is nothing but power that is equal to v square so this is nothing but v1 plus this is the incident voltage at port 1 this is what how much voltage is coming from the port 2 that is reflected from the port 2 so because power is converted to voltage i'll get a 20 log so here uh, this is nothing but v1 plus divided by v2 minus is nothing but transmission coefficients or uh, inverse of transmission coefficients or inverse of s21 because it's nothing but v2 minus divided by vn plus if it invert you, you will get the this quantity so this is nothing but one inverse one by s21 
so if i take uh, bring it in the numerator so we will get a negative term so that will come into the uh, outside of the log so it will be minus 20 log of s21 it's nothing but minus 20 log of transmission coefficient so similarly i can write port 2 if i want to if i say insertion lot at port 1 is nothing is nothing but minus 20 log of mod s21 okay you have to take a magnitude of it that is important so when i measure the quantity i will look for a magnitude of uh, s matrix i don't go for a angle or complex part because i need only the quantities to be compared so i'll take a magnitude of s21 take a minus 20 log and you will get an insertion law insertion loss at port 1 similarly insertion loss at port 2 can be written as minus 20 log of s12 if i give any power at port 2 how much is coming into port 1 that is my insertion okay <coughs> so the same way uh, can be insertion loss of uh, port 2 can be written as minus 20 log of t uh, t of 2 db so we will see that one problem quickly uh, to uh, it is the you know to add, uh, see that quantities uh, from the s matrix how to find out the quantities if a s matrix is given what is the quantities of uh, network to port network and also uh, normally if you see that in a data sheet of the devices micro devices they don't give the s matrix they will give uh, quantities okay so why because uh, it is easier to understand the quantities than the to, as a layman just uh, as just a network designer they will go for a written loss and uh, what is the insertion loss instead of uh, giving s matrix okay anyway if you know the quantities you can again write the s matrix if you know the s matrix you can write the quantities so in the exam also quiz uh, no, it may be asked like uh, s matrix will be given like whatever, whatever we are going to see uh, s matrix will be given so you have to find out the quantities okay it can be vice versa vice versa return laws or insertion laws will be given you have to find out you have to write the s matrix so that time uh, what can be write the comp no you cannot write exactly the uh, the angle part if it is quantity is given if you want to write the s matrix but you can write the magnitude of s matrix okay and we will quickly see the problem so if you take that uh, 0.25 this is angle is 0 degree 0.9 minus 50 degree 0 0.950 0 0.15 0 degree you can see that all s matrix are complex number in the polar format so find the return loss and the insertion loss so it is a straight away substitution and get the answer so return loss equals to minus 20 log of mod gamma so mod gamma is nothing but s11 so s11 is nothing but here 0 0.25 so substitute 0 0.5 minus 20 log of 0 0.5 you will get a 12 db that is a return loss at port 1 provided that if they have not given anything like uh, port 2 whether matched or not matched if they are not giving anything you have to we can take that is assumption like port 2 is matched so normally we try to match all the ports if when the problem if it is not given so we have to assume that it is matched so substitute s11 directly no need to worry about the port 2 whether it's matched or not directly substitute and you will get it okay this is a written loss at port 1 is nothing but minus 20 log of s11 mod s11 you'll get a 20 then comes to the insertion loss is minus 20 log of s21 so s21 is uh, this is s11 this is s21 so mod s21 i have to take so only the magnitude point and i have to take so minus 20 log of 0.9 i will get 0 0.92 db okay so here round up quick uh, quiz is already we have seen that maybe probably and uh, i'll just uh, glance at uh, if it is you uh, know what is the ideal value okay so uh, there are some arbitrary values given so, and then i have to see that uh, what is ideal because uh, i should have a benchmark so what is the benchmark okay uh, for example it is something like uh, the gain like uh, gain of the amplifier gain of the amplifier typically it should be very high for uh, if you take a operation amplifier it should be very high gain okay common mode rejection ratio should be a uh, infinity so these are the ideal value okay ideal up but when it comes to the practical there will be a deviation up okay so these are the practical values given in the s matrix but what is ideal of insertion what is the return loss okay so ideal values means 
I should know actually how ideally it should work. For example, if I take a retinal loss, ideally S11 is nothing but V1 minus divided by V1 plus provided that second port is matched. So ideally there should not be any reflection because all the power when inserted in the first port should be supposed to go to the second port. It should not be reflected back. We don't this undesirable effect. We don't want any ports is reflecting any power or voltage. So this numerator is zero. This, is, this is, can be any voltage, arbitrary voltage. So S1 and typically has to be zero. So if we take a return loss minus 20 log of zero, minus 20 log of zero, so it is a magnitude anyway zero is, uh, doesn't matter here so log zero equals to minus infinity so minus 20 will get a plus infinity d2 so return loss ideal value is infinity d2 so higher and higher if you get the return loss better the good no it is a better matching is there so there is no reflection so we look for good return loss typically for antennas we will measure that frequency with the return loss okay because antenna is single port device we look for uh, uh, you know higher return loss for example this is a negative scale that is a typically you we change the sign uh, based on the situations typically we antennas will write the minus infinity because it's the loss so we'll write a minus infinity only the change in the sign uh, here we look for my design frequency for example if I antenna bluetooth antenna any antenna if I design 2 gigahertz for example a design frequency the return loss should be higher enough okay here it's I'm told normally the antennas we will tell is minus infinity so uh, it is then doesn't matter the return loss has to be higher enough for my design frequency I look for higher return loss that is what the important for a quantity is okay so similarly what is the insertion loss what is the ideal quantity so insertion loss means when I give any power, how much power is coming to the second port. So ideally I want all the power is coming to the second port. I don't want any power reflected, any power lost in the device. So I want all the power. So what is S21? So S21 is nothing but V1, V2 minus how much is coming into the second port divided by V1 plus. Okay, provided that uh, V2 plus second port should be matched and anyway, in ideal condition we will take as a match so here what is the insertion if I give so for example 1 volt input output also I will look for 1 volt I don't want any power is reflected or wasted in the device so what is the ideal value of insertion loss is 1 S21 has to be 1 if you take a dB scale it's a minus 20 log of S21 okay so you will get if you take a mark you will get a log 1 log 1 is 0 dB so how much it is equal to 0 insertion loss that much it is a best it is a good the device is very good if it is close to 0 typically we will get for example 1 dB uh, 2 dB 3 dB it is going away from 0 okay we look for insertion loss is close to 0 dB so the device is ideal so the problems two problems you know subdivision of the problems is done so other one is little uh, like next layer of a problem okay so here uh, uh, it is asked like if pore 2 here in the return loss in the first calculation I have taken pore 2 is matched it is not given but already we have assumed that in some problems they may not given pore 2 is terminated with a matched load sometimes they won't give it they have to assume that is a matched load in this problem in the port 2 is matched in the first case to find out the return loss here in the second case the port 2 is not matched with a matched load that is is that a load impedance is not here is matched with a characteristics impedance so it is matched in the first case but here the port 2 is not matched to the characteristics impedance but it is just shorted so is that l equal to 0 I have a two port network and second port is just shorted okay I don't did not connect it to the load impedance to characteristics impedance okay I did not match it just shorted so in that case what is the return loss 
okay this is the port 1 and port 2 so we have to find out so what is the return loss so we will go the problem uh, to solve the problem by expanding the equation of two port network so we have seen that uh, the first equation of uh, two port network from the s matrix we can write reflection reflection in the first port is equals to s11 v1 plus and uh, s12 v2 plus okay this is the first equation so here so one key is that uh, like we have to start with that so if the second port is shorted so whatever this is my second port first port is here this is second port if second port is shorted whatever reflected voltage from the second v2 minus it going to you no know, it will come back to v2 plus okay so whatever incident voltage coming to the second port it is nothing but the negative voltage of reflected voltage meaning that since it is shorted v2 plus i can write minus v2 minus so this is a key to solve this problem so v2 plus the incident to the second port is equals to negative of inverse of v2 minus so i have to use this condition in the first equation so it is i cannot straight away find out the return loss here because as you know in the earlier case we have find uh, found the return loss as the first port v1 v1 minus divided by v1 plus and we assume that v2 plus equals to zero but here in this case v2 plus is not equals to zero because v2 plus now minus v2 minus okay so we have to take the original equations then substitute v2 plus equals to minus v2 minus this is nothing but v1 minus okay this is one equation and uh, from the second equation reflected voltage at the port 2 equals to s21 v1 plus minus s22 v2 minus because s22 v1 v2 plus can be written as minus s22 v2 minus now uh, find out what is a v2 minus v2 minus i have to find out v2 minus here from the second uh, third equation okay v2 minus plus s22 v2 minus equals to s21 v1 plus so what is the v2 minus which is equals to s21 v1 plus divided by 1 plus s22 is that clear it's correct okay so <coughs> So, using no, this is the fourth equation. Using four, using four in equation three. Sorry, equation two. So here, what is a v one minus? So what I can do is here. So what is a gamma? It is nothing but. So second equation, I will before that I second equation I will divide it with the. Uh, v1 plus so what i will get here second equation so s11 minus s12 v2 minus by v1 plus this is from second equation if i divide second equation by v1 plus this v1 minus divided by v1 plus is nothing but gamma what i wants to find this is nothing but s11 minus s12 and uh, what is the v2 minus from the equation of fourth is nothing but s21 and uh, v1 plus okay 1 plus s22 okay s12 v2 minus again here on v1 plus is there uh, and 
s v2 minus i can write s2 1 v1 plus 1 plus s2 2 already 1 v1 plus is there here in the denominator so both will be cancelled out so i will get comma 1 equals to s1 1 and uh, s1 2 sorry this is comma v1 plus here cancelled out s1 2 and s2 1 divided by 1 plus s2 2 so this is a return loss at return loss at port 1 if the second port is shorted so you substitute all the value from the s matrix you will get the answer okay so uh, this is a how to find the return loss if the second port is not matched okay So another problem quickly we will see and complete that uh, different problems. So here if you say the port 2, uh, here 2 port network and uh, this is a problem 2 and uh, this is S matrix of 3 port network is given. So you find that uh, 3 port network means 3 cross 3 matrix of S matrix. We have to find uh, this is a reciprocal if it is a symmetric device. I mentioned earlier if uh, S12 equal to S21 or s13 equals to s31 or s23 equal to s32 so if it is uh, the symmetry so we'll get a transpose of the matrix will be the same like a original matrix so since it is same okay it's just a mirror of top portion is bottom it is a symmetric so it is a reciprocal yes okay is this uh, network is lossless for a lossless property we have to take any uh, row of the S matrix take a magnitude of square of each element and have everything if it is coming one it is a lossless if it is not coming to one then it's the lossy device okay so uh, then I have to find the return loss at port 1 so port 1 return loss is nothing but minus 20 log of S11 mod S11 so magnitude of mod S11 is nothing but 0.178 substitute and you will get a return loss of 15 dB so insertion loss between port 1 and 3 so port 1 and 3 s matrix is s13 or s31 since this uh, symmetric matrix i can take any of this uh, s13 or s31 so insertion loss will be calculated minus 20 log of mod s13 okay so mod is so s13 is a 0.3 so minus 20 log of 0.3 i will get close to 8 db and phase delay is asked phase delay is nothing but negative of the phase of the s matrix so minus 40 degree negative is 45 degree so what is the phase delay between one and other port is you know can be calculated from the angle between these two port so uh, these are some practical three port devices uh, for example power divider it will divide the power uh, whatever any microwave power is sent to the, this is a microstrip based it gets the printed on the substrate uh, uh, and uh, there are lines it's a microstrip lines so when our power is entered here it will be divided between these two and three port is a power divider okay so if it is a waveguide type three port device is a circulator if any power is entered here it will come to the second port or if any power entered in the second port it will come to the third port if any power is entered in the third port it will come into the first port in the clockwise direction okay so it won't go into on anti clockwise uh, okay we will see that uh, whether uh, circulator will satisfy all three properties like a uh, reciprocal you know and lossless and uh, uh, like uh, symmetric okay so all the property whether satisfied we will see it uh, later so these are the some port three port devices so three port devices for each devices uh, we have a s matrix or we can write this matrix from the s matrix i can find out all three properties whether it's satisfied or not satisfied so this uh, and from the s matrix also i can find out the quantities or uh, characteristics of the devices so this will be all revolved around all devices passive devices active devices we can write test matrix is something very basic to understand all the devices and find the properties and find the characteristics 
and uh, three port device again uh, there are uh, T junction okay why it's called T because it's look like a T because it look like a because it look like a T okay so it is called a T junction okay so what is the use of T junction is a waveguide type that is before earlier we have seen the power divider is a microstrip this is a waveguide type so whenever power is entered here it between divided between this so what is the opposite of this function whenever if when I two giving a two power here so it combinedly I will get a maximum power so either we call is the two name one is the divider okay another is a coupler okay so when you divide it it become a divider okay so when you couple this power it's called a coupler okay this is a three port device similarly we can write a so why call e plane and h plane we will see it later why because e plane and h plane uh, you can see that little bit construction there is a difference is that because all the ports are here the two ports is like a parallel to the ground but this is arm is just if you see this arm it's a vertical to the ground but here this is called e-plane because usually the e-plane will be uh, perpendicular to the ground so it's called e-plane so if you see here this all port horizontal to the ground okay even these arms are horizontal so it's called a h-plane so usually h wave will go in the parallel to the ground okay okay it's called a h-plane this since it is a e waves the per perpendicular to the ground okay so it's called e plane t this is h plane t that we will see it later so four port device uh, the classical example is microstrip plane based you know directional coupler it can be a microstrip plane based or it can be a vacator so why it's called a coupler some of the power so when we so when we give any power to the first port for example some of the power will be coupled to the third port and most of the power will go to the second port so one and two it's inserted the insertion loss we can find out between one and two okay so this most of the power will you know direct to the second port some of the power is coupled to the third port so this port ideally there should not be any power coming out okay this is called isolated port this is called coupled port this is called direction port or inserted port okay so this is called why we use the direction coupler uh, for example uh, no if i want to measure the the no traveling wave or transmitted wave okay of uh, characteristics uh, what is the power what is the vswr uh, i don't want to disturb this line so what i will do i'll sum of the i'll just probe it using this port I just probe it and see that what is the VSWR what is a reflection and what is a, a uh, no, standing wave so I can find out by using a coupling port okay so a lot of application in the direction coupler there are different uh, modification in the direction coupler also is there this this is an example of four port device so waveguide type also similar you have send a power in first port so maximum power will come into the second ports some of the power is coupled to the third port so here fourth port is shorted because i'm not going to use it it will short it so these are the different configurations in the four port device so this is a 3 db hybrid coupler um, i can hybrid ring i can say okay so what happens here when uh, power port power is uh, sent to the first port power is sent to the first port it will be divided equally between second and third so fourth port is isolated power because its power is divided equally half the power so it's called a minus 3 db because why is half power is minus db so power always 10 log if the power is divided off it's nothing but 1 by 2 so 10 log of 0.5 i'll get a 3 db okay so that's why we call it 3db hybrid ring this is also called as a rat race the reason is uh, whenever we only designer knows where the power is coming where is not coming like a rat it can be uh, difficult to trace unless otherwise i know the design exactly okay 
so port naming is uh, followed as per a standard okay we follow in the textbook a particular standard in some cases they may be giving in the different numbers but always it is uh, better to follow standard textbook or uh, iteratively standard notation so this is a normally the standard notation you can see that this is a 1 2 3 4 here in the magic t also four put device so here what is the function of this when the power is entered in the third port it will be split equally between one and two this port is isolated and similarly if any power okay so if any power entered here in between equal no divided equally so no power it will come here so these two ports are called isolated ports okay so by knowing the function i can write this matrix or by knowing the x matrix i can uh, say what is a function and also what is the quantities what are the quantities in return laws insertion laws in later stages uh, we will also there are two more quantities isolations and uh, coupling factors so these are the quantities can be very you can see that uh, small uh, working of uh, hybrid ring okay the so whenever the power is entered here so it will be equally you can say that it will be equally divided between this and our power is entered here in a hybrid ring it will be equally divided between these two so nothing will come here so this is a 3 db hybrid ring because it look like a ring so it's a 3 db hybrid ring. okay i'll stop here and uh, we will continue the transmission matrix in the next lecture thank you for listening